Well, let's have a look at how we can create a surface from 3D faces that come in a land survey file. This is the land survey file I have. If I switch over to the 3D view, you can see there's a whole bunch of triangles in here with the properties of 3D face. Sometimes this is called a tin or a triangulated irregular network. It uh, makes up the surface. It's a more accurate way of building a surface than using uh, 3D contours. It's infinitely more accurate, especially on vertical surfaces. You can see there's a deep canal here and there's a bunch of retaining walls there. Creating a surface, we're going over to tool space. Uh, we've got the natural surface. I've already created one in there in surface. You just go right cre click create surface. Uh, and the definition is the key thing. So drawing objects, right click on that and add and change it to 3D faces. Note this, I'm not going to tick this on. Maintain uh, edges from objects and you'll see what goes wrong when you don't have that ticked. So we'll create a surface and we can see in there, I just put shade mode on so we can see it. Uh, shade mode to realistic. Uh, it's something wrong here, it's gone nuts. And that is because of not ticking that box that I just talked about. So drawing objects, I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna delete everything from that one and redo it. And now when I go, um, add drawing objects, 3D surfaces, or 3D faces, sorry. Maintain edges from objects, tick that on. Grab the tin surface from the land surveyor and we can see now that that is way more accurate. But you can see here we've got surfaces beyond the boundary of uh, the surface, which is not correct because the land survey didn't survey over in that area. So how do you fix that? Well, just I'm using layer off and I'm gonna turn off the surface we created temporarily. There's this really cool command called line work shrink wrap in uh, AutoCAD or Civil 3D. Might work in AutoCAD too, I've never tried it. Uh, so line work shrink wrap, type that in, select the objects you want to uh, create a shrink wrap around. So we select all that uh, tin surface from the land surveyor and it'll create a boundary around that. Does all the hard work for you. Now I'll just put that on a layer. Whoops. I'll put that on a layer. I think I have got one created. Natural surface boundary. That's good. Now I shall go L-A-Y on, turn my, all my layers on. We can see that old surface. The one I've created, natural surface, boundaries. Click on that, go add, add. Uh, don't worry about the name, non-destructive. It is an outer. Now this job's in meters, so I'll just make that millimeters. And click the object and it creates a crop around it, which is really cool. One other thing to note is that you've created this surface. If you've got Autodesk Docs, I know it's a bit pricey, but you do have this extra feature here on the output ribbon, that if you can publish a surface from Civil 3D uh, to Autodesk Docs, now Autodesk Docs in the Revit environment will be able to use that surface so you can get a very accurate surface model into Revit fairly easily.